everyone, this is Kasia, Finning on Sea, and today we're going to learn how to draw Halloween gnomes. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. We will begin by drawing a line, and that's just to show us where they're standing. Once we have our line, we're going to draw her nose, and that's just an oval, so draw an oval. Then we're going to draw the hat. So on each side of the nose, we're going to draw lines that will droop down like this. Then they will go towards the top because that's the hat. And I'm going to draw a line across. There's going to be a belt around the hat. We can draw a belt buckle on it. So that's drawing just a rectangle with a second rectangle on the inside. And now our hat is going to go towards the top and it's going to curve to the side. Let's put it to the side. And then this will swirl. So draw like a hook almost. And then we want to make it unswirl and come back this way. Now in here, I'm going to draw a spider web. So just a bunch of lines that cross each other. And from this by the web, I'm going to draw a line down and there will be a spider on it. So a little purple dot and then the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. We can maybe make this hat go out some more like this, like a witch hat. Okay, now the hair, I'm going to give her braids. So on each side of the nose, I'm going to draw like a zigzag line like this, and then connect it. Give me this very, very thick braid that will just thin out towards the bottom and end in like this. I'm not going to tie it. Same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do pretty big zigzag. That is tiny zigzag. And then connect it. It's almost like a messy braid. She will be wearing a dress I'm going to just draw a line to show it. I guess she could have a beard. Why not, right? I can draw it here. And she will also be holding a broom. Um, so it's going to tie off here and then go down. Like so. And from here, it's going to go up in front of her hat. And we want to draw a hand that's holding it. So, an elbow like hand, and then a thumb is showing over there. Okay, the other one, we're going to draw a second nose, so we want to kind of have it on the same height. So a second oval. This one is going to stand behind the cauldron, so I want to draw the cauldron next. So right underneath the nose, and then go down, and then draw a bowl, so like, 
an oval like shape. And I'm going to draw legs to that. And there may be some confection dripping down here, like this. And then the hat will be going around the nose, down on each side. And this one will be pointed towards the top, like so. I wanted to have stripes. And also there will be bats attached to it. So to draw the bats, I'm going to do a bat head like this. And then one, two, and three. Lines like this here, and maybe even ears. So again, the head, you can do just these shapes or one, two, like this. And maybe one, two to the bottom. Yeah, let's do this. One, two. And then here we'll have one, two, three. One, two, three. And ears. And another one here. So a little loop. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And ears. Let's give this one some hair, so like, you can see a beard here on the sides. And then again, a dress. And maybe we can put hands that are holding the cold one, so you would just do like, see like shapes, do like shapes maybe. Okay, so this is good for the sketch and now we're going to color it now I know this looks kind of messy but we're going to clean it as we color I'm going to begin by outlining everything with a liner then I'm going to come back with an eraser and erase all of the pencil lines that I no longer need and finally I'm going to use markers to color my picture while I'm using my liner I'm not tracing all of these lines here. I'm just using the ones that look the best. So like on this broom, I'm just going to trace one line. And then this will help me keep it a lot cleaner and give it a, a lot nicer look than it's looking right now. Okay, my Halloween gnomes are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and come back to see me soon.